It's cozy, you know? Briar is a dog lover. Yes, indeed he is. What do you want to do? He wants to be mischievous. Excellent. Let's take a dog on a walk. Let's hook it. it it's, like, it's like comfy, cozy. It's that feeling of like being around your family and like, you know, just hanging out or having a good meal or it's like raining outside. It's like, it's, it's comfy and cozy is like the best sort of closest approximation to like English as far as I understand it. But like not, like there's a bit of a social component to it, isn't there? Not necessarily required, but it, it feels that way. Homey, maybe? Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to pronounce. Obviously, I'm not saying it right, but deal with it. I like the number of stairs in this house. I mean, I know it's two, but like... <laughs> Maybe we should lock the door somewhere else, but that's okay. See, this is this is fine. Cats need love while they're, they're, the people are sleeping. <gasps> Ava, just become friends with Gilbert! Did we just become best friends? No, not best friends, just friends. Best friends is a different trait. Can we find out, like, the relationship with animals? Oh my god, we can figure out the relationship with animals! <gasps> Oh my god! Oh, this makes me so happy. What a great expansion. Isn't it? You can play with the toys with the pets. Oh god, we're gonna have to do that. Yeah, I was thinking rug. I think we need one in the front hall as well. Now we're gonna be wrapping up soon. And doing the multiplayer portion. Um, where do you actually get the rugs? Oh, it's in objects. Is there floor coverings, decoration maybe? There we it is. There we it is. Oh, we got a bunch of animal ones. No dogs allowed. No dogs can enter, so don't put your paws here. All puppers welcome. Cats rule this home. <laughs> oh, we need some sort of like combo though. I don't know if it actually does something. Like does it actually keep dogs off your property or something? Which we wouldn't necessarily want. Never too many circles. Okay. So I think we need something fairly big. So that's why I'm looking down here. Something like this. I'm just well positioned, but it's like almost like we need something for like the footsies, like, you know, something like that. But you don't want the rug right at the front door because it's going to get dirty, you know? I don't know. I almost need like another big countertop across here so you can store things there. Or like a low bookshelf. Does something like that exist? Oh, we can't put it in front of the TV? But that would be perfect! What? Again, I'll have to use the cheats or something. But this is the wrong type of shelves. But you know, like... Because that, that's what it kind of needs. Just a bunch of storage underneath the television. You know? Yeah, we may need a coffee table. That is That is absolutely potentially valid. That might be the right kind of sh Ooh, nature's revenge table. <laughs> there once was a girl named Ella with a real green thumb. Plants grew wherever she walked. Try as she might, she never keep the plants in check throughout her home house until the plants finally overtook her and she went to live in the woods. Commemorate her legacy with this exact replica of her famous first table. I do like the idea of bringing the plants indoors, though. And I, I imagine this is all, like, cat grass. So Gilbert's just going to be in there all the time. And seriously, who left this goddamn mess on the ground? I think I can trash this once I get in there. So, obviously, this needs to be centered on the rug. But then... I guess that's doable. But yeah, we need stuff over there. What do we have under just various decorations and... And whatchamacallits and doodads? I don't know. 
magazine and remote holder. Well, that should be right there. Shurex. I don't know if I want any over here. I think the one's going to be fine. I know it says, like, women's and men's, but let's pretend it's all the same. Don't break your backpack. Small storage. Like, is it literally you can just store whatever you want in there? Um... Floor streams gardening tools. Ooh. Okay, well, we'll figure out a better way to, like, better spot. Right now, we'll just put it, like, in the middle of the room, because this is, like, a work in progress. So we have our tools sort of just, like, lying around in the middle of this room, because we're going to greenhouse it up. Boxes of files. Ooh, spice rack. Put that in the corner. I don't think people actually use it, but it's going to be, you know... Um, I don't know what to put down there. What do you guys think? Planter box? Yeah, that might actually work nicely, isn't it? But we can't put anything under the TV. Like, what? What are you talking about? Also, wait, we can't put this anywhere? Oh, it has to be up... Oh, alright, it's wall-mounted. I suppose I could change to a different type of TV, but... Yeah, we can't even put anything on the floor in front of this. End table, use alt to put things under the TV. Oh, there we go. Okay, so oh, that gets rid of the, the snapping. Okay, so it doesn't work for windows, but it's working for this. First of all, will this work? No, not that one, because it's still a wall-mounted thing. But this one will. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Um, which means we could do the end tables, which I was looking at before. That might be a thing. I like the idea of more plants in the house, though. This doesn't let you ignore intersections completely, but... Let's see. Let's say... Let's go back to surfaces. The steam TV stand. Oh! Actually lets you... This one lets you go underneath this. But I like the idea of the chest for storage. I mean, I realize you can put, you know, TV stuff on there, but that's okay. And yeah, I want, like, miscellaneous bric-a-brac. I also was looking at like some of the decoration stuff. Like having a little cat statue seems like the sort of thing that we would have. Just like one that's just sitting on the ground. <gasps> the Snoop and Boops. Oh my god, train sets. Cool. Could have a cat bed over there. That might feel a little complete. Clutter. There you go. <laughs> I like I like how it's just got the category for clutter. We could have another magazine box over there. Some books that are just lying around on the ground. No oh, antique essentials for florists. There. Again, just a little bit more stuff just lying around over there. Looked lived in. Laundry? No. What else we might put on this? Sports equipment. Stack of books. There we go. Maybe something that we'll put on this table here? Let's see. Let's 
Candles? No. What are we going to put on this little thing? Do they have, like, um... There you go. A couple of books. That sounds like us. They have a lot of kitchen things. Oh, yeah, the game system. All right, yes. Um, appliances? Electronics, probably. Oh, we've got tablets and stuff, too. I might want music and things. Where's the... Hold on. Where's the game station? That's what it's called, right? Gaming console in TVs. Is that not where I am? Oh, is it these things? Oh, okay. I don't know if you have to grab it or, or whatnot. And I don't know if I, like, position it, like, unsnapped, if it'll hurt things. I don't like it there. I do know that we are going to go and get the slablet over here. People are going to carry this stuff around all the house, and that's going to be okay. We don't have any computers yet, but that's fine. I don't know. It looks kind of bad just being there. I kind of want to tuck it up right there. I just don't know if people will be able to use it. I guess there's only one way to find out. Hey, Ava, you want to play some video games? Play Party Frenzy. Oh, okay. It just needs to exist and it's fine. You've got, like, everyone carries their, their Bluetooth controllers in their pockets. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, see, so this is starting to look a little bit more lived in. By the way, you get money whenever you recycle something in this. Which is like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Just try not to think about it. Apparently, I can't recycle this glass. Go get a real job. <laughs> One thing you can do, I think you can play with the tablet, like, in bed, maybe even in the bath. There's a few things where you can sort of multitask with these things, which is kind of interesting. What's up, Bells? I like how they can barely walk. That is such a puppy walk. My feet are too big for my body. I don't even know what I'm doing. Everything is hard. All right, stop playing video games, put away the glass, and then come over here and play with your dog. Dog dogs are especially appreciative of getting petting. It gives extra social motive. Cool. <sighs> Arr! Request a song. Sing to me, Bella. Sing to me. This is something Ava says all the time. Sing, Bella. Do you want a cookie? Sing. Bella's probably flipping out upstairs right now. <laughs> Maybe a small breakfast table in the kitchen dead end space. I like that. It's not a... I mean, there definitely needs to be something. We've got all this stupid open space, which I don't like. Um, I'm thinking maybe build an island. What if we remove this counter, built an island in here instead? I mean, we don't necessarily need to remove the counter, but I feel like it becomes a little superfluous. Um, I think we have to rotate it this way. We need to give enough room for people to walk around properly. I might put it here.
It's gonna be. Feels like we need a window right there too, doesn't it? Although there are stairs right there, so never mind. Just some art on the walls. The breakfast bar side should be pointed away from the workspace. Oh, because otherwise people might get in each other's way or something. Okay, let's do that. I suppose we could get um get a couple of stools up there. Now I don't want this anymore. I don't know if people will sit and eat there or not, but we'll see. We put a chess table or something over there, too. For now, let's just go and put this back. Not that we need the cat tree. Yeah, that's starting to feel much better. Um, I don't know if it would get in the way if I put, like, a block of knives here or something. I don't know if that would interrupt this um, counter space. One of the things that's very easy to do in The Sims is you make your rooms too big and then you don't really have the stuff to fill it with the same way. Like, it's, it gets a little odd. Well, I, I don't have the decoration skills of, um, of a kiss for luck. We'll see. Yay, bar instead of the island. Kitchen Peninsula doesn't have the same ring to it. Why do stools have directions? Because, yeah, they, they only sit one way. Chess table increases joy. Because I thought that might be a good place for a chess table or something. I mean, we could put it here too. But what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the Sims portion of the stream. I've been streaming for over three hours non-stop here. That sounds a little crazy. I'm going to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to switch to the multiplayer portion of the stream, stream with some Factoria multiplayer. I will be kicking the server online uh, as soon as I get back on a brand new map I'm going to be emailing subscribers with the info on how to join our Factorio server uh, the password info all that kind of stuff and uh, we do have a permanent server up that's only down basically during the stream like this um, to start a new map but it'll be up online all throughout the week and everything like that if you just came up for the sims hey that's great I appreciate it love you very much um, thanks for everyone who came, stopped by to watch who followed who subbed who shared who sent in a contribution to the whiskey and chocolate jar. I will be, first of all, checking to make sure I haven't missed anything. No, I have not. I will be taking a short break. I will be getting a beverage of the adult variety, perhaps, and we will do some multiplayer factorio. This is going to be actually a totally normal, typical map. Nothing crazy going on in this one. Uh, just, you know, mix it up every time a little bit different. So uh, give me a couple minutes, and we will be back. No mods on this one yet, but we will be modding it probably the next time we do a multiplayer. I just didn't have enough time this week to do it, but I would like to do a modded uh, multiplayer map. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back in a scooch, and I'll be emailing subscribers.